This one has been a long time coming, but I do feel like it does deserve a review. And it's been an unusual one for me, because normally I write my review the day after watching the movie. However, I took about 4 months off from actually writing any new reviews, but I did see some movies during that time, Tenet perhaps being one of the most notable titles. And I am fortunate enough to live in a place where theaters were actually open at the time, and I could actually go see it. Because Christopher Nolan is one of the few directors whose movies are definitely worth seeing in the theater. In fact, I even had the chance to see it in IMAX. However, this was now months and months ago. Which is both a good and bad thing. A good thing because it means I've uh, had time to let it marinate. A bad thing because, well, I didn't take any notes and my memory isn't great. Especially when it comes to detail, so I'm probably not gonna be able to dive into the some things I usually do. But I'll do my best and hopefully we end up with something halfway decent here. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? I'd say I'm a fan of Christopher Nolan's. One might even say a big fan. I like the scale and grandiose ambition of his movies. He's pretty much the man I consider to be the last man consistently making worthwhile blockbusters. With that being said, I'm definitely not a fanboy. A lot of the time I don't love his movies. They often feel very clinical, surgical and cold to me. I often find them hard to get emotionally invested in. But I usually do enjoy them and I appreciate them on a technical level and as feats of cinematic spectacle. And I would say that this one pretty much epitomizes that sort of dualistic feeling about his movies. Because it is a pretty cool movie with a very unique and interesting concept behind it. But at no point did I really feel emotionally involved in the story or the characters. I was intrigued, definitely. I wanted to know what would happen next. I was engaged, because this thing is like a huge puzzle that kept me thinking and trying to keep track of everything that was going on. I was very impressed by just the technical feat of how they managed to shoot and edit this thing. Because that must have been a massive undertaking and a process unlike any movie ever made, probably. Even the fact that someone sat down to write this and somehow managed to make it somewhat coherent speaks to how well this movie was made. But did I care about the characters? Did I get emotionally invested? Not really. To some very limited degree, sure, I wanted them to succeed in their mission. But that's pretty much it. I never felt any sort of great attachment to any of them. So yeah, I did very much enjoy this and appreciate it on a technical level. Because it is visually a very cool looking movie with a concept I've never seen before. I mean, I don't want to give anything away here, but I'll say that this is sort of a heist movie and it involves manipulation of time. But yeah, it's big, it's loud, it's spectacular and some of the mechanics of how this world works are straight up mind benders. And as I said, keeping track of what exactly is going on and how exactly things work is a lot of work. In fact, that's probably my other issue with the movie. It's a lot to take in, probably a bit too much to be honest. And it ended up feeling like I was there to solve a physics problem instead of enjoying a movie. A bit too much of the time I was preoccupied with attempting to sort things out in my head to actually enjoy just the pure experience. And I'm sure there are people out there who like that sort of thing more than I do. And I do like that sort of thing too, but too much is too much and I think they crossed the line with this one. But yeah, this is by no means a bad movie and in many ways it's really impressive. And it is undeniably a movie that will make you either engage with it or just give up. Because it asks a lot of you. So all in all I would call it an impressive feat of filmmaking but ultimately a tad bit underwhelming as far as the emotional depth goes. Which means I'll be giving this one a solid 7. However, would I recommend it? If you're into high concept sci-fi or just want to see something visually impressive, sure. Otherwise, I don't know, maybe skip this one or don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel because that would be fantastic.